Welcome back to Tenacious Plays, Tenacious Viking Plays Banished, episode 30. Uh, this is going to be the uh, make or break, I think. Um, this may be the last one you'll see, at least for a while. Ah, uh, our lovely mountain that it defaults to for some reason. Look at all this built stuff that's not being used because I don't have anybody to do it. Okay, we're getting a little... Oh, we got a little iron built up because I didn't have a blacksmith for a while. And, um... Hopefully the food will hold out. Got some logs in place so we can get some firewood. Yeah, food is not doing well. Um... I've got four gatherers and three hunters. I'm hoping I can catch up real quick here. They bring in some stuff, but uh, short of tools as I am, they may not be able to work that uh, that well. Every new laborer is going into um, mining right now, so we can try to get some tools. And I want to make sure that I have a trader, and that we have all of the wool. Yeah, we've got a thousand wool. That's five thousand trading points we've got to work with. Um, um, and I need a tailor back because I am running out of warm coats. Last time I checked the market, it suddenly filled up with stuff. Yeah, that's what I like to see. No firewood here, though. Hmm. 16 onions is all I got for food. Oh, good. Yeah, it's coming and going pretty fast. The market's a busy, busy place. Most of the people seem to be congregated here. I guess that's where most of the jobs are house there. Okay, another laborer, a couple more laborers. Oops. The trader. Really? The trader? Uh, wait, no. Oh, we had somebody there to replace the trader. That's why there's another trader already. Okay. Food and... Oh, let's take a look at this. Yep, okay, never mind. As soon as I pulled it over, it died off. Yeah, okay. Interesting enough, with all that's going on, uh, I still got four hearts and four and a half stars here. Hmm. The same 16 onions are still there. Onions don't make a good meal. Make a good addition to a meal, but uh, miner. Okay, I lost a miner. Well, I got a lot of those, and that's where I would take extras from anyway. So to get food built up again, if we can. A lot of children. Hopefully, they will. Some of them will come of age soon, and we can add them to the food making or mining. Critters running around all over. Hmm. Here you go. Wait, that's great. He's over here. No, oh. maybe not. Firewood is less of a concern. Well, it's it's fluctuating. It just we're just right on the verge of keeping up. We're not being able to keep up, or however you want to look at it. Glass half full. Glass half empty, I guess. See, am I getting a trader every year or twice a year? 
theory is you get one trader per year per trading post. being efficient or not. Let me check it. Yeah, 640. Three people. Twice as much. Okay. These guys are going gangbusters. to see how much area the fishing docks cover because I've learned recently there are places you can put them that are much more efficient. The more water they cover, the more fish they'll catch. These are not very efficient and I'm not sure where you'd even put put one here. There really aren't any good efficient places. Maybe out here. I don't know if that'd help either. There are a lot of theories about how to play this game, but few are substantiated yet than I've been able to find. Anyway. I wonder how much stone it would take to make this road a stone road faster one. A lot of activity here. that uses. Alright, ooh, we have a bunch of laborers. So we'll also, well, let's see, let's get, um, two fishermen and two herdsmen. Make sure that those are at peak efficiency. trim those back later on to see how efficient this place is, what we're getting out of it. Only got 160 month last year. We're getting 320 this year, so that's pretty good. And this is producing... See, it's not producing very much. I wonder if it produces more if you have more people. I doubt it. I, I think the trees do whatever they do. Put another. I'm gonna put another woodcutter on here. See what happens. second woodcutter because they have bad tools and so that's slowing them down. We need to be pretty efficient with that. Um, fishermen. Anybody extra I get right now is going to go on food production and try to build that back up. <coughs> Lost my trader again. Why do I keep losing my trader? If I can get caught up on anything, anything, it would be miraculous. 
All right, another laborer. Good. Oh, and added a miner and lost a miner. <clears throat> As soon as I get about five extra people, the one gatherer's hut can't feed them. Do I have a gatherer's hut up here? Yes, I do. That's a long haul, but it's there. Okay, I'm going to take a uh, add Taylor. We've got a bunch of coats built up. We can um, we can sell those too at a pretty nice profit. Maybe keep an eye up here for a trader, for a merchant ship. So, worry along with Tenacious Viking. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Have something good, please, mm -hmm. so that my colony can cherry seeds. Seriously? <sighs> Hate you. Go away. You killed my colony. You stupid, stupid. Stuff. Wow, look at that. Like, seven people we added, and the food, we can't keep up with food anymore. No matter what. That's just, that's kind of dumb, you know? I mean, it's, it just is. Part of it's the tool thing, I suppose, but... About at the point where I need to open another um, gatherer's hut. Don't want to open up too far away. Okay, I'm going to do it. Gatherer's hut. So we have three in each gatherer's hut. Seven to fifteen miners, and I can't keep up with iron. That's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. That, to me, that means something's askew in the game. Either that or I completely do not understand it. storage boundaries. Just 
kind of watching to see who I've got here and who I don't. More babies being born, which is good, but I don't know if I can feed them or keep them warm. I'm at 10, right? Yeah. We'll try to wait for one more um, merchant to come and uh, see if we have anything useful. Or something. Must be blacksmith. That did not take any stone to build that stone path. So why don't I do more of that? How about that? I need one, uh, oops, I need one right here. enough but it'll it'll, be, it'll help um, all the venison you got and squash seeds so I'll have them 2900 there trade. Dismissed. Hope I have enough wool to put in there. We might be saved. There might be an episode 31. Eh, probably not. I should check now my inventory of wool. I've got a nice supply of coats, which might be a better idea. Yeah, I think I'll cut back to 500 wool. stock about 40 wool coats. I wonder how much those are worth. 15. Yeah, I don't need more than that. But I do want another herdsman then too to make sure that my... Alright, we are caught up on tools and that will make people more efficient. All right, where are we now for uh, got a couple extra people here? Uh, let's put that on a gatherer. We've got a supply of leather on hand too. <coughs> yeah, quite a bit of leather, so we can make leather coats as well if I can find the tailor. <laughs> There's that tailor. Let's do some leather coats. And in fact, we might even... Gosh, we might even want to do... See, now I'm out of tools again. What's the deal? I provided enough tools, and now all of a sudden I'm down again. That's ridiculous. Um, we might even do warm coats. Let's try that for a while. We can do warm coats. We can sell those for a lot.
Now, I did not get... I don't know if I got this path. Oh, I guess I got it good enough. Now, what kind of seeds did I just get? Because <laughs> uh, I have, or had, at least... Oh, I changed it to a crop field. Shoot. Okay, so where can I put an orchard? I can do an orchard up here. Because I thought I got... Oh, maybe I didn't get uh, orchard seeds, but I forgot what kind of seeds I got. Oh, Wheat, squash, potato, sheep. Maybe I had whatever it was I bought. That was kind of, kind of dumb. Um, I don't know what else it was I bought. I'll have to go back and look at that. All right, well, we're going to leave it here for the day, and uh, we'll come back for episode 31 and uh, see if uh, see if we can continue to trade for some of the things we need, get caught up on some of those supplies, and uh, take care of the people that we've got now, and then stabilize this, uh, this colony. So, thanks for watching. Join me next time for episode 31 of Tenacious Viking Plays Banished.